Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. I'm a bit sick and um, I've been a bit sick for a while. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. It's not about me being sick. I'm not going to moan about being sick. But what I am going to do, do you know what makes me feel better when I'm sick? Looking at awesome bikes. And I've got some awesome bikes. And I've been meaning to get all my bikes together and kind of run through them with you for ages. But um, honestly, they're scattered throughout the house. And it's a right mission getting them up the stairs into this room. So, um, so I've been putting it off and I've been a bit lazy. So whilst I'm stuck in the house, I figured I might as well run through my mega bike collection with you guys. Look, check it out. I've got them all upstairs and all in the room. It's also really sunny, as you can tell. Eh! And, um, and I'm stuck inside. But anyway, look, check this out. All the bikes. All the bikes. And I'm going to point towards the sun. And another one there. So today we're going to run through all of the bikes in this room. There are a few more. I've actually got two frames that I'm still building up. But... I'm going to run you through my complete bikes and, and just tell you a little bit about them. So stay tuned for a little look at my epic bike collection. It is pretty epic. I love it. So I was going to stand still and just like hold them all. But um, realistically, look, I might as well do it here. Here's my track bike. It's blooming lovely. So first off is my track bike. This is a state undefeated frame. Uh, it's the, I don't even know what model it is. One of the older ones. So I painted it with some spray bike paint. We've got this like nice pink to pink fade with like yellow triangles. A SRAM Omnium crank set, 165. DT Swiss track hubs, stainer, 60 more deep like track wheels. And then I have Goodyear vectors on there. And I do have my flat bars at the moment. See, nice flat bars with some cool lock on marine grips. A Zip Sprint SL stem that I actually stole off Juliet. But she don't watch this video, so hopefully she won't notice and she won't ask for it back. Okay, and I'm running cages. I run cages when I run flat bars and then I normally run clips when I'm running like drops because it tends to be that I'm racing and I'm running a 47 17 gearing on that. What's next? So next on this is Marin Headlands. This is honestly my favourite gravel bike I've ever had. I did have a Marin Headlands before that was pretty much exactly the same, but it's my favourite colour that they do. I think it's lovely. So the first thing I did with this is I actually removed the dropper post. It's just loads of extra weight. I don't really use it that much. And for me, I can't justify the weight. Well, I can't justify the extra weight really because I never use it. So I have 650B wheels with a Goodyear connector, 50mm wide tyre. I have an E13 massive like 9 to 46 tooth cassette, Shimano GRX group set, one by, um, I think I have a 40 tooth up the front, nice funky tape from Psychology, fabric S line saddle, little skin grows back bag, and then I have a skin grows back bar bag. I think that's pretty much it really. There we go. There's a quick look at my, my gravel bike, my favourite gravel bike, my lovely gravel, I love this gravel bike. Next one. So next up we have the Yodo R12. So it's like a full carbon frame. So this is one of my road bikes. I suppose it's my winter road bike. I've just got these new um, Hyper wheels on it as well. Look, check them out. Beastie, super deep. So Yodo frame, Yodo bar stem combo, Yodo seat post, lots of Yodo. I have SRAM ETAP, it's like the original ETAP. Um, it's the one that I like to be honest. It's not 12 speed, it's 11 speed. And, and I really like it, you know? Most of you guys have seen this frame in the sun. It gets this like super nice like rainbowy paint. I'll try and show you, but um, let me see. Can you see, can we see get in the sun? Oh, look at it. See that effect, look. Oh. But yeah, unfortunately I did drop it on a rock and scratch it. So this is the Olio R12. Right, let's get the next one. So I figured I would stay on the road bikes. This is the Stayer, it's the Stayer Crit Frame. Um, this is my steel road bike. And I have a Shimano Ultegra DI2 group set on it. It has, Obviously, Goodyear Eagle F1 tyres, but all my bikes have Goodyear tyres on them. So if I forget to mention which tyres I have on my bikes, they're basically Goodyears. It's either the Eagles, the Vectors, the Connectors, or the Newtons. There we go. Always, always, always Goodyear, as you can tell. So stay a frame, gorgeous frame. I mean, look at this, look at these rear. Look at this, look at this, look at this. One of the problems in this room is it gets really good sun, which is great sometimes, but then when I'm trying to film stuff, especially when my bikes have this like flecky paint job, look, it just goes all like, me. But it does look like that when you ride outside. It's like you're riding something that just fully glows. So it has tuned carbon bars, tuned stem, um, a wind space seat post actually. I had to pinch one off my other bike. And then a stayer 50mm deep wheels, I think these are. And some really, really, really fancy bottle cages. Can you see these ones? These are like tuned ones. And they're so nice and they look so like fragile that I'm really scared putting the bottles in and out. This is my second road bike. Disc brake again, obviously, you know. Um, right. On to the next one. Wow. Right, next up is the Marin Nicasio. This is oh, another gravel bike. It is a lovely gravel bike. Can you actually see that from there? Look, it looks cool, doesn't it? I do really like it. So I have this set up actually at the moment with Alp kit bags on. But I'm just going bikepacking, then I got sick. Actually, good year peaks on this. Look, awesome tyre. They're like a bit more gnarly than like your standard connector. Awesome. Yeah, I have a redshift suspension seat post and a redshift suspension stem on this. Um, so it makes it like 
nice and comfy when riding. But yeah, this is my Marin Nicasio. I'm not sure what model. Um, this actually comes in 650s and I actually run 700s on this. So I have these like Stayer again, carbon wheels, and I chose to run the 650s on my actual race bike. I just prefer 650s on the carbon bike and I like 700s on this. What do you reckon? Anyway, I really like this one. Right, what's next? Honestly, it's so sunny outside, it's ruining my video. Um, so next up is, ah, you know, I've got a lampshade in the way, I've got like everything in the way, I'm like really struggling today, I'm gonna be honest. So next up is the Marin DSX FS. You guys know this bike. It is blooming awesome. This is my flat bar gravel bike, otherwise known as a grounding bike. Um, I mean, you guys just decided it's called a grounding bike and I actually really, really, really rate that. So yeah. Goodyear Peaks, 2.25 tyres. I did actually have to file out my fork in order to get these tyres to fit in there. This Drive 6 full carbon light wheel that just looks funky. I mean, some people hate them. I kind of love them, I'm gonna be honest. Bit of a weird one, this bike. It's like a mountain bike, but a gravel bike, see? Suspension fork, but like, but definitely not a mountain bike. Um, I did upgrade the bars, put some rental bars on it. I have my quad lock mount, so I can put my phone on there. Uh, skin grip back bag. And then it has Shimano like gears, brakes. I don't even know what model they are. But yeah, I really, really, really rate this. This is like my beater bike. And um, it's a bit nicer a beater bike. Flat bars and gravel. It's just something special about it. But anyway, yeah. Let me, let me pick it up and give you a proper look. I'm being proper lazy when filming this. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm sick. So give me a break. Look, see, this is my bike. Lovely. Hit the lampshade. <laughs> right. Oh, that's a heavy one. Right, two to go. Right, so there we go, a tire transition. So this is the Marin Alpine Trail. It's a mountain bike. I don't know anything about mountain bikes. It's got like a coily shock thing. And look, look, here you go, coily shock thing, lyric fork, Shimano brakes, gears, things. Honestly, it's, it's, it's a mountain bike, I love it. I don't really know loads about mountain bikes, but I do definitely know that I'm gonna do a lot more of it this winter because well, it's a great winter activity, isn't it? You know? Um, yeah, Goodyear Newton tires. Look at these beasts, beastie. Yeah, it's got pedals on it and other stuff. Yeah, let me move you down so you can even see it. So the Marin Trail XXR, I believe this is actually. And these actually do have like the new stands Mark IV like, um, wheels on, so super lucky to have those. One more left and it's a fun bike. I think I'll probably film this in the worst way ever, by the way, just putting that out there. All right, so just quickly, the last bike in the collection is the newest edition actually, I think. This is the We The People Atlas. It is a 24 inch BMX and honestly, it's so much fun. Just bog standard stock 24 inch BMX to be honest, but it's proper fun and it means I can go to the BMX track with kiddo and we can have a few laps on it and um, yeah, really like it actually. A bike I don't ride that much that I should definitely ride more. We The People Atlas. Oh, I'm sweating. So that's pretty much it. So that was just a quick look at all of my bikes. Um, if you do want to see any more bikes in detail, let me know down below and I can do like individual bike check videos. And doing it in this tiny room is probably not the best thing because like you don't get a proper look at them. But if you do want to see more of these bikes, just tune into other videos because I take them all out for rides and it's awesome fun. Whew, that was hard work. So I do need to quickly thank like all my sponsors. They are super awesome. So Goodyear, Marin, Smith, Asicus, uh, Skin Grows Back, Saris, Quadlock, like all of you guys, um, I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anyone. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys. Because like without those guys, this would not be possible. And without you guys, honestly, this would not be possible. So I'm going to be honest. I'm not a mega fast bike racer. But because you guys watch my videos, I can somehow blag awesome bikes from brands. So yeah, thank you. Let me know down below in the comments your bike collection. Just tell me. Just tell me your bike collection. Mine's constantly changing and evolving. But um, yeah, this is it for now. All right, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.